and world, it's Miss Amy. I hope you've had another wonderful week and that you're enjoying summer these days. Last week when we read our Bible story, we read from the New Testament. And a couple of weeks ago, we read from our Old Testament and we talked about Abraham and Sarah and their son Isaac. And every week we have in our lectionary, which is our um, Bible stories that the church goes by each week. We have readings from the Old Testament, the New Testament, and sometimes the letters of Paul. And we they all kind of tie together. And so when we talked about Abraham and Sarah, we talked about how God provided for them a son and Isaac. And this week we're going to look again at Isaac and Abraham and Sarah we're going to be talking about something called trust. And we will again be reading from our Jesus Storybook Bible. And we will be in the Old Testament this week. So, let's begin. And this story of Abraham and Isaac is called The Present. We'll see why. God knew that his secret rescue plan could only work if Abraham trusted him completely. God had to make sure Abraham would do whatever he asked. So a few years after Isaac was born, God asked Abraham to give him a present. Abraham liked giving presents to God. He gave God his animals. They were called sacrifices. And they were a way to say, I love you to God. But this time, God didn't want a lamb or a goat. God wanted Abraham to give him something more, much more. He wanted Abraham to give him his son, his only son, the son he loved, Isaac. Put his boy on the altar and kill him as a sacrifice? How could God want him to do such a terrible thing? Abraham didn't understand, but he knew that God was his father who loved him. And so Abraham trusted him. Early the next morning, Abraham and Isaac set off. They climbed the steep stony trail up the mountain Isaac carried the wood on his back. His father carried the knife and the coals. And there's Isaac and Abraham climbing up that very steep mountain. And look, here is Abraham. And he has Isaac on the altar to God. Let's see what happens. Papa, Isaac said, we have everything except we forgot the lamb for the sacrifice. God will give us the lamb, son, Abraham said. They built an altar and laid the wood on top. Abraham asked his son to climb on top of the wood. Isaac didn't understand, but he knew his father loved him, and so he trusted him. He climbed up onto the altar, and Abraham tied his boy to the wood. Isaac didn't struggle or try to run away. He just lay there quietly and didn't make a sound. Everything was ready. Abraham took the knife. Tears were filling his eyes. Pain was filling up his heart. His hand was shaking. He lifted the knife high into the air. Stop, God said, don't hurt the boy. I want him to live and not die. I know now that you love me because you would, would have given me your only son. Abraham felt his heart leap with joy. He unbound Isaac and folded him in his arms. Great sobs shook the old man's whole body. Scalding tears filled his eyes. And for a long time, they stayed there like that in each other's arms, the boy and his dad. So 
suddenly Abraham saw a ram caught in some brambles. The sacrifice. God had given them what they needed just in time. The ram would die so Isaac didn't have to. And so Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. And see here's the ram and it's stuck in the bushes for the sacrifice. So we end our story there today. And we know that when Jesus came into the world and died upon the cross, he was the ultimate sacrifice so that none of us would ever have to sacrifice anything again to God as a living blood sacrifice. Jesus died upon the cross, shed his blood, and then he rose again so that we could always be in heaven with him and God and the Holy Spirit forever. And what God asks us to do is to trust in Him whenever He's, um, whenever we are not sure of something, we just need to pray and ask for God to give us strength, to give us His peace. And we know that because He's with us, we always have His Holy Spirit guiding us, and we can be hopeful in knowing that God has rescued us through Jesus and that he will lead us to where he wants us to be in his perfect timing and his perfect plan. So I hope that you all have a wonderful week and just remember that you can always trust God because he is faithful to us and he loves us. I'll see you soon. Bye.